Hello everybody, I just wanted to uh, do a quick overview of my airsoft collection at the moment because it is a major hobby of mine and I do quite enjoy it. So, to start out, I will point out the G36. Well, it is an MG36 that has been modified from a G36. I took off the uh, standard stock, which uh, it's not solid like that and doesn't extend if you aren't familiar with the G36 and place, uh, replaced it with this one which is a solid stock which I can put a full size 9.6 volt battery in the large type which is great because uh, when you're running a saw setup you want that extra battery power it came with a C-Mag um, that C-Mag is 3000 rounds something like that built by SRC the same as a gun uh, you will notice that, well, you can barely tell on the camera, but that receiver is clear um, to conform with Canadian law. Now, the shotgun. The shotgun is a uh, Crossman clone of some kind. I have no idea. I believe it's based off of Marui, but I could be wrong. Anyhow, it's a good, good, good workhorse, and it only cost me about 70 bucks when it was on sale. It's a uh, tri-shot barrel and uses a standard um, Rui style shotgun shells with the uh, speed load into them like that. J36 also came up with a wind up mag. Um, then the AK. Well, this was one of my first AEGs. In fact, my uh, second AEG. Um, it is a um, Kraken built by Aftermath, and they are garbage. Um, no one particularly finds these anywhere useful on the field and I can attest to that the external quality is terrible however the gearbox is not broken down and I've probably put well over 10,000 rounds through it so it does run well but it's falling apart on the outside you'll notice that uh, I have this rail on here but the sight is missing the butt plate fell off I used to have uh, black furniture but I uh, switched it out for the wood just because I like it. Uh, this isn't the standard mag. Uh, the mag that came with it, it was actually clear. Um, the uh, body piece on there was also clear as well. I just painted it. Um, all my mags for the M16. And a Claymore mine. This I hand built uh, over the summertime. All it is is a metal box. If I do this right. A little bit of powder left in there. Two rat traps. Smiley face, of course. You have to scare the crap out of someone. Uh, two rat traps with a little bit of fabric in between. And it works quite well, actually. And uh, all you gotta do is reset it, and I uh, run it by trip line. And now onto the assault weapon, the uh, M16. It's G&G built. It has uh, full rails on it. Everything's metal. Um, this is the Canadian air gun supply version right before uh, they started doing the uh, advanced grade so it's not really the low grade combat machine one but it's not really the advanced grade GNG one so I have no idea what it is anyhow the non advanced version supposedly has uh, no metal bearing spring guide this however does I've taken apart the gearbox on here not because of mechanical issues it's been running fine and I've probably put well over 10,000 rounds through it and it uh, still runs like beautifully so yeah it's quite sturdy uh, it doesn't creak or squeak or anything like that uh, you'll notice that the lower receiver on this one is black I painted it uh, I may do a tutorial on that a little bit later now uh, the sidearm this is the only sidearm I own at this point in time other than the shotgun which I sometimes use as a sidearm which really isn't but uh, the sidearm is a KJ Works High Kappa. Uh, these are no longer sold in Canada because of the metal lower um, receiver part there. Uh, the handle itself is clear. I haven't gotten a chance to paint it yet, and that is to conform with Canadian law. Just like that is, and that is, and that is supposed to be clear. But I all painted that anyways, uh, so whatever. Uh, magazines came with it. Uh, one mag came with. The rest were, I think, $45 a piece Canadian, and uh, no leaks, no issues there. The uh, gun itself had one minor issue. The barrel wasn't quite uh, tapered enough, and the uh, slide would catch on it. Uh, 
it was a quick barrel replacement. I buy through 007 Airsoft, and uh, he, uh, Ken, the owner, um, hooked me up with a new barrel 20 bucks later, and I was back in business. Uh, yeah, these are the frag grenades I have. They aren't actually frags. These are just Madville powder shot grenades. And they work um, quite well. However, the timing system on them is not great. And if you're looking for consistency, I would highly recommend tornadoes over them. Um, plus, those are only distraction devices. So, that's the whole collection. Um, yeah. Uh, G36 is the newest edition. And it's... Uh, so far been pretty good. I haven't had a chance to take it out yet because of uh, uh, the winter time and it's just been uh, too cold to take it out. I usually run that on a LiPo battery. It shoots in excess of 400 so uh, the spring in there is quite powerful so uh, putting a LiPo battery on it's not the worst thing you can do. It uh, will wear out the gearbox a little bit faster but when you're looking to have a saw-style saw weapon, it's definitely going to be uh, a benefit to have that 11.4 uh, volts running through there. Anyhow, that's it. Have a good day, guys.